thanksgiving and my eyes to heaven are how the stars you flung like jewels bid your welcome shine your light as I marvel at your moonrise I may know yet I ask what am I that you should love me and hold in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, in this 10th Sunday of Ordinary Time, Jesus tells us in the Gospel, that those who do the will of the Father, they are his brothers and sisters. And therefore we come together as this family that the Lord has gathered before him, really to renew and remind ourselves of the dignity that each one of us carries, that each one of us is the image of God. And we only image him when we try with our mighty best to do His will. Dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Father, glory to God, glory to 
God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. We the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance, do it. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book. Of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strive at his heel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy 
second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. We too believe, and therefore we speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. 
everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Rather, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison as we look not to what is seen but to what is unseen for what is seen is transitory but what is unseen is eternal for we know that if our earthly dwelling a tent should be destroyed we have a building from God a dwelling not made with hands eternal in heaven the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus came home with his disciples. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard that when his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself, and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder the house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them but whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. His mother and his brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent word to him and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you but he said to them in reply who are my mother and my brothers and looking around at those seated in the circle he said here are my mother and my brothers for whoever does the will of god is my brother and sister and mother The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mayong buntag mga igsun. Salamat sa Dios nga nilandong-landong og a uh, maka relax ta diha sa tuhang mga gilingkuran. Today we celebrate the 10th Sunday of Ordinary Time, but if you have noticed, Ordinary Time actually entered immediately after Pentecost. But after the celebration of Pentecost where the Holy Spirit is sent into us, we immediately had in the following Sunday the celebration of the Solemnity of the Blessed Trinity. And we are reminded that the relationship that we are supposed to build for the whole time of ordinary time is supposedly like the Trinity where there is uniqueness in each one but at the same time there is communion there is there is love that circulates in the relationship in the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit but this love in the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is not some, it's so great but does not become exclusive Many times our love for one another, when it is so strong, it becomes exclusive. But in the Trinity, we are told that the love between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit does not lead to exclusivity, but it leads to community. And that's why when we think of the church, we think of it as the incarnation of the relationship that is there in the Trinity. Immediately after the celebration of Trinity Sunday, we also celebrated the following Sunday, last Sunday in fact, Corpus Christi Sunday. And we are reminded that we are supposed to be the living reality of the mystical body of Christ. This is how great is God's call for us that human though we are with all our limitations, we are called to be the mystical body of Christ. And so beautifully, we were reminded last Friday, you remember, it was the feast of the most sacred heart of Jesus. And we were reminded that in this body, the heart that beats is the heart of Christ. And yesterday, we were told with the feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, to have a heart like Mary. In today's gospel, we are again reminded of what happened in the first instance of our history. Immediately after God had made a paradise for man and after he had created man and woman in his image and likeness, immediately the temptation came in. And we're reminded here in the Gospel of the three kinds of temptations that sometimes many of us can be subjected to. And the first temptation is always a temptation to division. In the first reading, we were reminded how in this beautiful relationship between us and God, immediately the tempter tells Adam and Eve, Ah, God does not want you to eat of this fruit because He is a jealous God. He does not want you to become like Him. He wanted to instill in our mind and in our hearts that God is a jealous God. He does not want us to be like Him. But in fact, this was already what we, we were. This is already who we are. Because we have been created in the image and likeness of God. But the tempter wanted to shake the very foundation of our identity as children of God. He wants to strike the most fatal blow in our relationship with God by creating division 
between us and God when there, when there was supposedly only unity. And this is the same thing that he continues to do so until today. He wants to wedge a big gap between us and God when we tell ourselves ah, di lang kumusod nga to sa simbahan o eh, kay basing makilatan ko para man sa mga maayo ang simbahan, di nilang kumuad to we believe when we tell ourselves that we believe in the temptation of the devil we believe that we are nothing we believe that we are of no worth when in fact we are already created in the image and likeness of God not only are we created in the image and likeness of God God also sent everything that he has because in his son he had everything that he had but he gave his son to us not only did his son give himself to us he died for us and therefore each one of us when we look at ourselves before the mirror we have to tell ourselves I am worth the life of a God he had given his life for me not only did he give his life for me he continues to nourish me through the sacraments especially in the Eucharist when the tempter has entered into our minds and into our hearts and has wedged a division between us and God, then the second thing happens as our gospel tells us today. He ties the strong man. And when he has tied the strong man, when he has tied somehow God, then he can enter and steal and destroy and plunder the house of God. This is who we are. We are the temple of God. And when God has been tied because we believe in the tempter himself rather than the voice of God, then he plunders our house. The next temptation is this that we no longer believe in the Holy Spirit and we blaspheme. We think that God had made us and left us to our own to our own selves without any help from Him. And suddenly, we live no longer as children and we live slowly every day as orphans with no one to help us and with no father to call our own Jesus tells us however looking around those seated in the circle he said here are my mother my brothers whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother there was Mary his mother but he extends the motherhood of Mary to all of us because Mary, Mary's heart was this, only to do the will of the Father, only a servant of the Lord. And this is how we are supposed to live all of ordinary time, to live already as renewed, restored children of God and we confirm that every day when we try with our mighty best to listen to the voice of the Spirit to do the will of God and slowly slowly we become more children of our one Father
let us all stand as one people that God calls his own let us profess our faith I believe in one God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth of all, of all things, things visible, visible and invisible, and invisible. I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages God from God light from light, light, light true, true God, God from true God, God begotten not made consubstantial with the Father through him, him all things were made, made. For, for his men and for his salvation he came, came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man for his sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead in his kingdom will have no end I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Mindful of Jesus' identification of his family, as those who follow the will of God, let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we too may have faith in His Son and resolve to do what is pleasing to Him. For every petition we pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. May the church, with its clergy and servants, proclaim the gospel with priceless joy and unwavering faith. We pray. May government officials be aware of their intrinsic ties to the people they serve and avoid enacting laws which are detrimental to human life and dignity. We pray. May religious men and women heed the call to renew their vows not only in ritual but more importantly in faithful witness to the one to whom they have consecrated their lives we pray Lord, to our may those who have passed away trusting in christ be received into the dwelling not made with hands eternal in heaven we pray Lord, that you may deem it worthy and beneficial to us that you philo kamumut venerable be raised to the altar of saints we pray Lord, Lord, listen to our prayer. Prayer. let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions we pray Lord, Heavenly Father, listen to your children who seek you day and night, but most importantly in this Eucharist, that faith may be granted to them, so that we may stand with your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of the creation for the goodness of this wine to offer food to the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, must receive us and please to sacrifice our food with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept us the price of your hands, for the praise of the Lord of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to choose in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your son and the power of the spirit you gathered them again to yourself that the people formed as one by the unity of the trinity made the body of christ and the temple of the holy spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion and took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, it took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with our Bishop, all the clergy, and all of us who are here gathered in your name. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Bless Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. to call God our Father. So being the Father's beloved children, we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, 
to said to her apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not in our sins within the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever the peace of the Lord be with you always and let us offer each other Christ peace takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
mahayag na mabuluko na ang Kaayu katarung ka maturan Mau'y bunga sa kahayag na Lagat sa uban Sama sa pagula ni Jesus Sa iyang kinabuhi Aroon kitang kanan maluas Kay hihikumaman kita Sa langit kong amahan Paninguhaw na kong magpuyo Puno sa gugma Sa pag-alag at sa uban Sa masapag mula ni Jesus Sa iyang kinabuhi Anun kitang tanan maluas Anun kitang tanan Let us pray. May your healing work, Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, you may have noticed what happened just here at the Eucharist. What happened here at the Eucharist is very different from the temptations of the evil one. What the temptation tells us of and brings us only division in the Eucharist, Jesus makes us one with the Father. So close, na iyan gihatag ang iyan kaugalingon nga rin nato. He has also restored us to our relationship with one another. We greeted one another, peace. And we looked at one another, not as strangers, but already as part of me. Because you are part of the body of Christ. This is what God wants for us. To restore us to who we are. Children of God who can look at one another as brothers and sisters. Let us continue to do that in our own small, ordinary, and hidden ways. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is offered. Let us continue to give glory to the Lord in word and in deed by our love for one another. Thanks be to God. Blessing of our religious articles. God, by His word, all things are made holy. Pour out your blessing on these religious articles and symbols of faith and devotion. And when that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law and with the spirit of thanksgiving may experience by your power health in body and protection in soul as they invoke your most holy name through Christ our Lord. Ayat puri siya at ating ibunyag awitan siya pagilikas ng Dios na sa krus na Jesus masyam sa mundo ay tumubos langit at lupa ay papurihan araw at alas ay parangalan ating pagdiwang pagibig ng Dios sa tanan Alleluia! At isigaw sa lahat, kalingan niya ay wagas, kayong dukha sa lahat. Pag-ibig niya sa inyo ay tapat. Halina't sumayaw, buong bayan, lukso sabay sigaw, sanlibutan, Ang alam niyang angking siningin ng bituin Liwanag ng Diyos, sumaatin Langit at lupa, siya'y papurihan Araw at alam, siya'y parangalan Ating pag-iwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan Sa tanan Ating pag-iwang pag-ibig Ng Diyos sa tanan Alleluia